Hi everybody, it's Sally from Sally Stampers. Thank you for joining me today. Today I'm bringing you this lovely summery cute project. Um, it's using the beautiful Pineapple Punch, which is one of our new in colours. Um, I've used the Daisy Punch and um, inside here, and I'm not going to take it off, but it's a box with a belly band. Um, I'm not going to take it off because foolishly I did this one a bit tight <laughs> and it took me ages to get it back on. So, But inside are one of each of the in colour cards. Now you'll notice I haven't done the Grapefruit Grove one because I'm going to show you how I did that one. Um, but simply there are four cards, they are three by three note cards. So as you can see I use the Daisy Delight stamp here. Um, I've used the beautiful new in colour DSP as well. Um, a little stamp on the inside there and then I've also stamped these little 3x3 three three envelopes um, which obviously you can get um, from stamping up as well. So I've used all of the colours as I say bar the grapefruit grave. So I'll show you how I did my card first. So as you can see I've got a sheet of Grapefruit Grove that is six by three and then scored at three, which gives us our nice three by three card. I then have a layer of the DSP, which is beautiful. You've got spots or stripes, or um, as you can see, you've got the darker spots. Um, as you can see, I've used this quite a lot recently. Um, so yes, yeah, so you've got spots and stripes, and then spots and stripes. Beautiful Indian colours. Um, they are just beautiful. I love them. So move that to one side. So as I said I've got that, a layer of that which is going to go on there. My layer of Whisper White that is just going to go on the top and then you need, which I didn't get out, I always do this, some Whisper White that will do for my daisy punch. So, and this is for my centerpiece of my flower that just gets stuck tone on tone. So, have my grapefruit grove ink, my whisper white, my block, and then I just need my well loved daisy stamp that is probably needs a little bit of a clean because it's not sticky too well. So I'm just going to stamp this one on there. And let's just put this to one side. And I also realised that I didn't I always do this. I think it's because I'm so used to sort of just doing it as and when. So I'm just give that daisy a clean there and I'm going to pop it to one side. And then I've got my daisy punch which obviously just punches out the daisy so that's that bit done and then we need the center piece which i'm using this bit here and so i'll just pop this on my a block and i silly went and put this away naughty naughty so, and while I'm actually here with this, I'm going to do the second one that I need for the box lid and the belly band, just because it makes sense while I've got that stamp out. So let's put that away. And then I need my half inch circle punch just to punch the daisy out. And I'm sure you guys all know this by now. This daisy's been round a little while. So I now need a dimensional and a glue dot, which again I've forgotten to get my bits out that I need, honestly. So glue dot on the centre of the daisy, which is just going to go there. And then I want a dimensional just in the centre. And then I need my snail to stick these pieces on. So I'm just, as I said, I'm just sticking on my, whoops, my DSP. 
and I've just literally taken it down by I think it was one eighth of an inch just and then the same again with the whisper white so that's that on there and then I'm going to stick my flower on my lovely daisy and I do stick them quite high up because then I want to add my bow and this is the beautiful new gross grain ribbon I'm hoping you can see there beautiful beautiful ribbon so I'm just going to make a bow which no doubt as we always know may just go a little wonky but I never know you don't want it too big because obviously it is just to sit well that's not too bad it's just to sit on the bottom of the card so yes quite happy with that beautiful beautiful ribbon so put that to one side and then I'm just going to grab another glue dot which I fold in half whoops oh my goodness let's just start again that one was overly sticky wasn't it so we do fold in half and then I fold it again into a quarter and then I just pop it on the back of my bow and then just the bottom of my card so that's that bit done and then I need the white bit for the insert and my envelope so I'm just going to grab this triple flower stamp here and we're going to stamp just one just there and then I stamped one across the back and across the bottom oops, of the envelope again let's put that away it's only because I know that I'll end up putting my hand on it if I don't so we'll stick this piece on the ins oops, inside of the card And this will look a little bit smaller because it doesn't have the layer of DSP behind it. And then once that's stuck on, we can just fold and burnish that crease. And then we can pop it with the envelope with the other cards. So that's my card made. And so now I'm just going to move all this out of the way because now I want to make my box and I did put some white out ready <laughs> so those are my panels my decoration my belly band my box so grab my measurement so to make up your box you will need a sheet of cardstock that is 10 by five and a half inches and that is 24 and a half by 13 and a half centimeters and then I didn't get my scoring tool out either. Oh, I hope I don't knock the dry pod. Ugh. No, we did well, we did well. <clears throat> so, this is covered in glitter, can you see it? I was making a card for my daughter this morning and I got glitter everywhere. Right, so, um, on the short side you need to score at uh, one inch all the way to the bottom and four and a half inches and that is two and a half centimeters and eleven centimeters we then need to rotate and score again at one four and a half five and a half and nine and in centimeters that's two and a half eleven thirteen and a half and twenty two so as you know fold and burnish all of those score lines and then just do these nice long ones and you can already see the, the sort of the box taking shape there so we now need to um, cut our tabs and it's basically these the three squares 
two in the corners and one in the centre, these little squares that we need to cut. So, so that we um, get this the right way round. So if you have the long side looking at you, you need to trim your wedge, if you like, <clears throat> that way on. I've probably done this wrong because I was trying to look at my box, my other box and figure out which way I did that one but I couldn't remember. So, so that's the four corners, cut wedges out of our tabs. So you should have that. And then to do the centre ones, it doesn't matter which is top or bottom here because they both work in the same way. But what you need to do is cut across there, tuck that under, and then we cut down here and create our wedge this way. It didn't quite go as I wanted it to. Come here. That's better. So it goes that way. So we do exactly the same this side. So we cut across the top and then I'm actually going to fold this over and do it because it will be easier this way with the scissors. So cut down, that's it, and then we just cut our wedges. Okay, let's get rid of those. So that's how your, your basic box should look. And so what we're going to do is the, this, the one with the four is your base. So we need to put some adhesive on these. So as you know, still using the fuse. So I'm just putting my adhesive on there. And then just make your basic box up. And then obviously these go move that out of the way, these go onto the back just here and likewise with this one just tuck it under and it goes there and so obviously there's the base of your box for your cards to sit in so we're just going to pop our DSP on these panels before we fasten this one up so I've got three pieces here for the side which are three and a quarter by three quarters of an inch and that is eight by two in centimetres. So I'll just pop these ones on. Oops, got old fuse. So just pop these on here. And the last one, oops. Oh, come on. There we go. The last one goes on the side there. And then obviously the top piece is three and a quarter by three and a quarter, and that is eight by eight centimetres. And the good thing about these patterns is that you don't have a right and a wrong way in terms of the pattern moving. This just stays as it was. <laughs> So there's that bit, and then while I've got my fuse, I'm just going to simply pop it on here. And then, as you know, I fold my boxes over, because this just sits over the top. Pop that panel down, and then the same with this side. Just pop that panel down there. And then just open it up so that you can press those pieces again and then with your half inch circle punch just take a little thumb noggin out of there and there it is but obviously these parts gape and that's why I'd like to put a belly band on just to hold it all together so my cards can all go inside just pretty and then we just need to do our belly band so I have a sheet of cardstock here that I haven't written down. So this one is 
two and a quarter by ten. I will make sure that the centimetres are written down on my blog, I do apologise. And all I simply do on this is like I do previous ones, I just hold it in the centre and give it a small crease there and then the same that side and then I just take it off and I actually re-score them but I'm a bit naughty because I just line them up with a random score line on my board and just score them just so that it's done a little bit tidier shall we say so we'll just give those a little crease and then just a final check to go on my box lovely and I'm just going to put a very small line with my nail which didn't actually work let's try again there we go and that's just so that I know how far my adhesive needs to go. So pop him back on your box, make sure that your sides, so you're not like this, make sure it's all lined up nice and straight. And again, if you want to bravely slide it off, <laughs> you can do. And then finally is just a little bit of decoration, which I have chosen Again, I've gone with um, some of the DSP and the cardstock. And you remember we stamped our centerpiece when we did the card. And this is done in exactly the same way. So we're just going to pop wherever they've run off to. Ah, oh, there they are. A dimensional on the back of the plain one. We then want some... Oh, my days are party for looking today. A little bit of snail or glue dot or whichever you like this doesn't want to come out so we'll go with a glue dot so I'm just going to pop I'm actually going to use two I'm going to pop one there and one there just to hold those in place oh goodness stop sticking to me Oh, these are super sticky, aren't they? It's because it's a new roll. And then this just simply sits over the top, just like that. And if you need to give it a bit of a, a twist while it's not so tacky, then you can do. And then the same again, just for ease, I'm going to use another glue dot. The only thing with glue dots is that it will build it up slightly. So it will make it a little thicker, if you like. Oops. Let's just take that off and pop it on my box. And there you have it. Two beautiful little boxes with some gift cards inside that would be great to give um, a family friend or as a little thank you token or maybe um, you could use them to sell on a stall at a fair or anything like that um, but these are lovely and obviously you could go on forever making them with the lovely in colours um, and with our new um, colours as well in our families. All the information um, that I've used including the, the centimetre size for the belly band, I do apologise, will be on my blog and the link for that's just below. Hope you enjoy them guys and hope to see you all again soon. Bye!